one step at a time. What's going on, my dudes? One step here with the official combat cast breakdown for the gameplay of Ashra, who's returning in Mortal Kombat 1. Showing off her move set, her fatal blow, how to play her, how to play against her, and more. So if you're excited for Ashra gameplay, give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into it. Show me some of that Ashra gameplay, baby. Yeah, we have not seen Ashra in like 16 years, it feels like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you're if you're new to Mortal Kombat from Netherrealm Studios, you've never played Ashra, you've never seen her. For us longtime fans, we know who she is and we're so stoked to have her back right. in a mainline right. game so Ashra oh Steven, love that stance found an artifact the chris it's a mystical sword and when she slays demons with it it purifies her soul so she's a sword so she fighter chris all the time and you could imagine that gives her okay oh so she's got the range of a sword how many i mean it makes sense but like to know that she's got a bit more range than just fists okay she is literally a demon from the nether realm so i think she's a bad girl She's, all right she's, she's been there she's been through it all right she's, she's done, been through she's done it. a few bad things you can see almost all of her normal attacks use her weapon like she's got right so she's a lot of her normals are so using the sword yeah, instantly sweep, uses her sword. little bop there Is good jump ins it seems good cross ups yeah, Ooh, bop. nice pop up there Ooh, that's a good one cinematics plays a lot of Ashra, and it's the range she keeps you at is is one of those sort of frustrating ranges right yeah, it's, it's kind of a range that not a lot of characters can deal with because they don't have we weapons. Got a we got a flashy slash. Ooh, Using Frost as a cameo. Frost okay, I did like Frost as a cameo when I played. She was actually really good. Very neat. She has a really unique play style. So the first thing she has is projectile. Oh. Not a typical fast, tiny projectile. It takes up a ton of real estate on screen. Yeah, that's kind of a large projectile taking the screen. It's not just like a little thin one. It's a little bit longer of an animation on startup, but so you kind of see it coming, it looks like. If I see that, just block. You're not ducking it. Exactly. Good one, Tyler. also has crisscross, which is a sword slash, which is an excellent combo ender. Ooh, yeah, and that looks sick, too. Round in the air. And what's one of the ways you beat, like, long-range pussy tools? Wow. You beat? Oh, yeah, like long range. Okay, so yeah, if you see them doing that. Is that an overhead? Jump, jump. Wow. You really set these up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't understand why people say this is cringe. I don't get that. No, not oh, at all. It's my least favorite term. There you go. There's a nice setup, too, <laughs> though, though. Were, did any of the attacks you were just showing have EX versions? Um, yes. In fact, I'll show one right now. The sword uppercut, which mm -hmm. when you EX it, allows her... Combo. Com air combo. So she's got air combo. So if you want to keep crossing. going in the air, you can e e exit. Oh, okay, cool. And I think Chris Cross has a pop up. Okay, pop cool. up. So thanks for reminding me. Yeah, mm, doesn't do the full up. like five hits. It just ends at three, but allows you to continue a combo for like a super or something. It looks like. She sends a ghost, travels as far as she wants, and she can cancel it. Nope. And oh. She can also Cross ups? This quicker version that goes behind you. But you're following it. Exactly. Yeah. So, for the most part, she's got a bunch of range attacks. Yeah. And she can get distance with her sword attacks. So, she really kind of plays that mid to far game. And if you try jumping in at her, she has that special move that just is a rising sword attack that's just then going to allow her to extend air combos. Exactly. So, she can Nailed literally, it. oh, she's far away, psych, teleport kind of toward you. That makes her just an added layer to make her a little bit more in depth. And tell us about that layer. She Let's peel that onion. She tap into her dark side, and this changes the properties on most of her special moves. Okay. Her fireball becomes a ground spark. It can reach full screen. Oh, jeez. Oh! Medium and far version. Okay. And so that you have to you have to choose which which version, right? Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Pretty quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're telling me she can tap into her demon so side and change the properties darkness. of her special moves? That's sick. Her shadow charge completely changes, and now it actually teleports her to the location. Okay. And she can again cancel it. Whoa. Okay, okay. Or actually go directly to where the ghost is. And she can use that to go behind you, she can cancel it, and she can still do the quick attack. Okay. Now, one thing you might notice is when she's doing these moves, the opponent is getting dark side attached to him. Yeah, those little swirly things. Yeah, 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 right? on, the, on the opponent. You can stack up to three times. Once she turns back to light, all of her light attacks will then do an extra hit of damage 
depending oh. on how many stacks she has. Very cool. Oh, so you can stack dark no, on so your opponent, the, the then, then once you're back in stuff. light form, you do, any of those in the air, you do more damage. Yeah. You can do all the ghost flashes in the air and drop down. Oh, jeez. So you can do attacks, you can do combos with it. Oh, what that is super interesting. I don't, think, I, I don't think she has a command grab. She does not have a command grab. <laughs> okay. So you so want to go dark, soul, get so that, get those kind of those dark points on them, go back to light, do extra damage. You're switching back and forth and back and forth to get Yeah, you're back and forth all the day. Okay, so you switch physically back and forth. It's not a timer thing. You switch and then switch back to light whenever you're ready to. Oh. And you're, and you're locking them down with distance anyway, too. So, let's talk about cameos. I chose Frog. Okay. You might be saying, now how am I supposed to be switching in and out in the middle of a fight? Right. You think he's going to be advancing on me, he might do his flying kick, his mm. fireballs and all that. Well, let's cover a couple of Frost's moves. One is the ground ice, straight from Deadly Alliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you want to freeze them and then change to darker light. And it seems to cover like a majority of the screen. Exactly. This is Probably full screen there, fam. Big time movement check when you're fighting Frost. Mm -hmm. You could let it rip at any time, it's going to be super dangerous. And that's going to keep the opponent on their toes. And then boom, you've hit it. Swap. Exactly. She also oh. has Orby Orb. Orby Orb. I love the Orb move. It's good pressure, so they don't they don't want to approach you. And while they don't want to approach you, that's where you change from light to dark. Them, or vice versa. Exactly. A perfect time to switch your stance. Yeah, that's really good. That cool. is really and good. lastly, she has this nope. stalactite move that's a super quick combo ender. Ooh. Or if she holds it, she gets a Secret special fourth move. What? Where she does these stabby stabs. And, <laughs> and while she's doing the stabby stabs, you change. So you really want to choose a cameo that kind of fits your main character's gameplay style. And with Ashra, she wants to be changing between light and dark. So you got to choose a cameo, Frost or Sub Zero, whoever, that kind of gives you that time to change between light and dark. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to be rushed down and you probably can't change as fast as you want to. Um, now, the meter burner hold down stabby stab. Does that cost any additional meter or anything like that? I believe it's still the same as regular. I okay. believe. I do not have the cooldown time. Tonight. Okay. And also something to mention, you know, still game in progress. Things yeah. are still being tweaked and, yeah. and balanced and whatnot. Totally. So things you see here damage-wise and that sort of thing may change, obviously. Yeah. So, so oh, there's, there's a very good chance. Yes. <laughs> there's a very good chance. We'll all to... remember the combo I did back in oh, here 11 goes. That, that just didn't work later. No. I, oh, I the still, Dundee. The Dundee, yeah. The Dundee, and I still hear about it to this day. <laughs> so let's check out our Fatal Blow. Fatal Blow portion, here comes Frost. Frost is actually pretty cool, too. I like that a lot. Oh, wow. Frost is just going to be a great cameo overall for a lot of characters, I feel like. Ooh, the wings? That is actually... <gasps> That's so hot. The wings come off... Okay, I like her fatal blow a awesome. lot. That was really cool. Dude, like, welcome back, which is kind of a new character if you really think about it. She's kind of a, just like a brand new character to the game in general. She's got great range with her sword. She's got good special. She's got a teleport. And then she's got a unique mechanic going between light and dark. And dark, as long as you, you know, stack up those dark orbs on your opponent, when you're back to light, then you do more damage against your dark opponent now. So, man, she's got some really cool gameplay. I'm not sure what I really expected to, you know, from Asha, from a character we haven't seen in, in 16 years. Not a lot to expect, but man, they just blew out of the water for sure. I don't know if I'm personally gonna be maining her, but I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know down below. Are you gonna main Ashra? Do you like her? Do you hate her moveset? Let me know your thoughts down below. That is our first glimpse of the gameplay from Ashra in Mortal Kombat 1. If you enjoyed, again, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.